That's the last of the Seder, I believe. Good. Maybe they'll be at peace now. If there are more, we will be ready. Anything interesting, brother? What you need now? Oh, so I'm just some clod hopper?
I hope you weren't followed. Birger. How are you feeling? Like I could sleep through Ragnarok. Funny you should say that. No. He has earned his rest. Yes. I think it may be time for this old warrior to finally lay down his sword and find a quiet place to retire. A quiet place, huh? Aren't you gonna miss Freyr and his crew? I will miss their companionship, yes. But this is no place to convalesce. Actually, I know somebody else out there who's alone and could use your help. Let's talk later. I would like that. Assassins sought you. They are dead now. Greetings to you as well, Kratos. To elaborate? It appears your former brothers, the Travelers, have branded you a heretic. They wish to find you, but they, well, found Kratos first. Thank you. And apologies. My decision should not have brought such violence down on you. Once I learned the Traveler's path was merely another of Odin's lies, I had hoped my brothers would join me in stepping off it. Apparently, they did not. Still. You're safe now. The safer, anyway. I am. And again, thank you. For Midgard, huh? We must always be on the hunt for resources. Works for me.
Amir, why doesn't Thor look like he did in that statue we saw in the lake? Back when it was still a lake. It did at first. Then Thor saw it. The second sculptor was a great deal more complimentary. Guess that explains why Odin's statue doesn't quite look like him either. Finish the story. Gladly. It was said that Yari and Somer first shared a kiss in the fields of Jotunheim. Wait, what? How did they get there? Don't know. Point is, they went on countless expeditions, each location more beautiful than the last. But they found as they did, the destination became less important than simply traveling together. What about the unnameable thing? It was home. Yari and Somar had found it in each other. I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Galahorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. for you, actually. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the rounds. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you. But I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. 
If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Vigilus asked me if I was too chicken to release them, but I am in fact not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I had no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harmless prank, Fimblewinter prevented the stags from returning, and now they have long since scattered to parts unknown. It was worth it! Now then, any luck finding those lean worms? As you ask. They look quite healthy. All of the little ones are now safely settled in their new home. You have my gratitude. It is not a perfect family, but it is ours. You sought the dragon's offspring. Why? Ah, to alleviate my heart-rending loneliness, of course. Oh, that was awfully forthcoming of you. I normally wouldn't be so candid, but it appears that Anxious Squirrel has learned a thing or two from you about, what was it, not caring about how others perceive you? So I will permit you this one glimpse of my weakness. To require others is not a weakness. My goodness, I had not expected such emotional intelligence from one of your... girth. I do not care. Oh, well, this was a delightful conversation. I got the sense Vanaheim wasn't supposed to be so humid. Was that the effect of Fimble Winter there? To a great extent, it seems. So Midgard had endless night and cold. Svartalfheim had earthquakes. Alfheim had the light randomly pulsing. But Asgard didn't seem to be having any effects at all. Odin had a long time to prepare. No change I noticed in Helheim or Muspelheim either. Now that I think of it. The more primordial realms might be less susceptible. How do you suppose Jotunheim is faring? Uh, how would I know? Just training your powers of speculation. I don't know. If nobody's there to see, does it even matter? A stag of winter. It looks hungry. Come on already! Just come back with me. I don't care how hungry you are. That's right, we got more food at home. Come on! I have to say, quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it if it had attacked. Didn't you? Yes.
Time of rebirth, renewal. Oh, I've missed the smell of those flowers. I'm sorry, kid. Just come back already. Oh. Halfway there, by Septimus. I do not. I get that a lot. Two down, halfway there. Thank you. 
Unless my eyes deceive me, that seems to be the stag of summer. Is it hot or is it just my sizzling personality? Nah, it's you, stag. Can we go already? Oh. Just one stag left. Thanks for saving the realms and all that. Might have gotten to it myself and with more style, but thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, he means to say. Surprise, brother. To think a stag would run in terror at the sight of you. Not exactly a calming presence, are you? I am always calm. Ha! <laughs> Good one. Congratulations! You saved the Nine Realms from death by overgrowth. And you sort of saved my ass, too. No, it was really Venice's fault. That was not our aim. I'll take what I can get. A job well done. Might as well check in with Ratatoska when we've got the time. There he is, the man who tamed Garm. A thousand congratulations. Your stags are returned. A completist, I approve. Incredible! The Nine Realms are no longer in horticultural danger. I cannot thank you enough. But perhaps this will suffice. Arrogant believes he has evaded punishment just because you fixed his blunder. He is sorely mistaken, of course. He will be in a remarkable amount of trouble. 
Once I figure out how to punish someone whose narcissism renders him invulnerable to all forms of emotional warfare. But putting all that aside for the moment, is there anything else? Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. A bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sad. What? Oh, dear, oh, dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, Bitter. Are you sure? Yes, Anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Well, there it is. I think that's the long and short of it. Safe travels. Oh, I'm sorry, that's it. Yeah, that's it. We're done. <laughs> Go away now. She's the best. Oh! You're back. The heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because you make things better. You always have. Since... Since we were kids, I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> do you know we used to lead Vanaheim? Together, when we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just tried to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership. Not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... I can inspire people, I guess. And get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... like a what? A muse. Father told me about that. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well, why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I, I would be a natural. Ugh. Oh. What were we talking about? Ingvi, you must rest. You understand? You must. Please, just stop talking. Okay, I'm sorry. But someone was gonna fill us in on what happened with Heimdall, right? Is that what's happening? Patience. <laughs> Love. What now? A riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? Love. What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I, I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. Uh, yes. Bigger the more you take away. I, uh. Hey, you think so? Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. 
There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can... Go back. Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Choice. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. You know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Trace, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? 
Throw this down hard and say Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. All right. Odin said Hugin would be waiting in the cabin. Mimir, anything else I should know about Odin? Maybe a business or something? Like if I flip up his eye patch, he'll disintegrate. Hi, lad. Wouldn't that be? Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. I can't do your accent. I'm on my own for this one. Yaffa! <laughs> Here we go. Ben? Huh? You made it back! <laughs> hey. This is your wool? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Ingerboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions but he's odin you have faith in me right of course i do i just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want would you would you take care of fen while i'm away i'll take good care of him Good night, boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. All right. Just gotta help Odin complete the mask, but also make sure he doesn't get any answers from it. Easy, right? He's probably in a study. Huh. Nicely equipped. What needs work?
had nothing to do with it, then why isn't he here? Just because someone isn't here to defend themselves doesn't mean they're guilty. I mean, what kind of messed up logic? Heimdall's dead. Suddenly this boy, who you won't stop hanging around, is nowhere to be seen? He's literally working with Grandfather! Oh. Well, that puts me so much more at ease. What I'm saying is that maybe you wouldn't feel so weird about it if you said more than a cold hello to him. Or said he's investigating, so the truth will come out soon enough. I hope it does. Oh, um, well, I'm glad you heard all that. Or, I'm sorry you heard all that. You should oh. leave. Okay. Panic does nothing. Harness it. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything? Something noteworthy? I mean, you know, he did sock through pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out, got even, I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know, honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you know? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird, find Thor. I'm going. To me for time. It's you too. Hey, Ingrid, you wouldn't happen to know where Thor is. Yeah, I figured. I can find Thor? All Father is sending us on another mission. Why would I tell you where to find anyone I cared about? Look, it's fine if you don't like me or trust me or whatever, but I want you to know that you're hurting her. Excuse me? Druid's gonna be a Valkyrie one way or another. You know that. If you don't stand with her, you're gonna lose her. You may be working with All Father and enjoying his little bubble of protection but stay out of my family's business. Enjoy your freedom while you still have it. Maybe 
Maybe I should stop by my room. Might be a while before I can fix up my equipment again. Through? Sorry, um, all father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Back in Helheim, I told you I'd help your mom understand how much becoming a Valkyrie meant to you. I wanted to, uh, let you know that I meant it. You didn't. And you're still alive? I did think she was gonna choke me with her hair. I'm honestly surprised she didn't. Thanks, Lucky. Weapons aren't allowed inside. We'll have to check them. Why? Just do it. Come on. This way. Oh. Huh. Come on. They're not gonna let you in otherwise. Look around. He'll be here. <laughs> Through. I'm. It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so. If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but. Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You... You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather... Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <sighs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants, and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with his face. I can't. This isn't you. Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Oh! <laughs> 
Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no. It's fine. Really. Hey, 
I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Sarudi. You are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Get you a water or something? Fine. Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. I wish you could smell these. Well, this isn't the way. This ain't a treasure. This part of Niflheim is way different than the maze I saw a few winters ago. If you came through Tyr's temple, then yeah. The mist around Ivaldi's workshop is straight up poison. Was it worth it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fine, but I hope you know what seeing me like that. 
drunk. Why can't we just fly over these guys straight to the map? You think I want to carry you all that way? You're strong! I'm not your pack Up to you. I hope you know. Don't that. need a lecture about parenting from you. Just fine with it. Looks like we gotta head through that wall. Something you wanna... I need to do first. <laughs> Take your time. Now we can go. giant son of a powerful god with impossibly high expectations. How could I ever know what that's like? I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just pointing out we're not that different. I got no interest in bonding over shared blood.
Another wall of ice. Hmm. Thor, could mm -hmm. you... Okay, I just want to add one more thing. If you can't be yourself, you also might not feel like you can follow your own path. That doesn't sound familiar to you at all? Yeah. Uh. So we've got some similar life experience. What does it matter? Seems stupid to gripe about the things we can't change. Who says we can't? We're far from Ivaldi's workshop, right? Far enough. Damn it! Hey, 
kitchen! Again with the griping. Calling out a problem isn't griping. It's healthy. I bet you're glad I'm helping so much this time around. You're welcome. I will say the sword's doing work over there. You're lucky she's helping, too. You take this one, kid. Through there, just ahead. This will be fun. I don't think that's where we're supposed to go. So, I said it'd be fun. It was. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. 